Today is a special day for which we have been waiting. Time passed by so fast, Haniko. I remember the day when I saw you for the first time. It was in Regal Cinema and my heart skipped a beat because you look so beautiful. Day after day, our love grew stronger as we were getting to know each other more and more. 
We had great food adventures and wonderful time together by traveling to many places across USA. I remember the first time I said I love you. It was in Washington, D.C. And I was so nervous, hoping that you loved me too. I was so lucky that you did. I'm so thankful for all the great memories that we have. And I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. I remember that I always dreamed about marrying the most beautiful woman in the world. But I never thought it will come true. And I was wrong. I actually received from God much more than that. I'm marrying truly beautiful woman inside and out. Having you in my life is the best thing that ever happened to me. You are my best friend, my true love, and my everything. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you forevermore. Mahal na mahal kita, Koham G. Sebastian.
playing the first music in France. A reading from the book of Genesis. Matapos namin ang lahat ng ito, sinabi ng Panginoon Yahweh, hindi mabuti na mag-isa ang tao. Ibigyan ko siya ng isang angkop na makakasama at makakatulong. Kaya, mula sa lupa ay lupa ang Panginoon Yahweh ng mga hayop sa parang at mga ibon sa himbabawin. Dinala niya ang mga ito sa tao upang ipaubaya nito ang magbibigay ng pangalan sa mga iyon. Kung ano ang kanyang itinawag, iyon ang naging pangalan ng mga ito. Ang, mga, ang tao nga ang nagbigay ng pangalan sa lahat ng ibon sa himbabawin at hayop sa parang. Ngunit wala isang man sa mga ito ang nagbabagay ng mga sama at mga tulong niya. Kaya pinatulog ng Panginoong Yawi ang tao. Samantala na hihimbing, kinuha niya ang isang tagyang ito at pinaghilong ang laman sa tapat niya. Ang tagyang na iloy ginawa niya ang isang babae at dinan niya sa ito sa lalaki. Sinabi ng lalaki, sa wakas, Narito ang isang tulad ko, laman ng aking laman, buto ng aking buto. Babae ang natawag sa kanya, sabagkat sa lalaki siya ay kinuha. Ito ang dahilan kaya iniimon ng lalaki ang kanyang ama't ina, nagsasama sila ng kanyang asawa, at sila'y nagiging isa. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Starajcie się uczciwie na lepsze dane, a ja nam wskażę drogę jeszcze doskonalszą. Choćbym mówił językami ludzi i aniołów, a miłości bym nie miał, stałbym się jak mieć brzęcząca albo cymba obrzmiące. I choćbym miał dar prorokowania i znał wszystkie tajemnice, i posiadał wszelką wiedzę i choćby miał pełnię wiary, tak, żebym góry przeniósł, a miłości bym nie miał, byłbym niżem. I choćbym rozdał na żywność dla długich cały swój majątek, i choćbym wydał swoje ciało na spalenie, a miłości bym nie miał, nic nie zyskam. Miłość jest cierpliwa i rzeczliwa. Miłość nie zazdrości, nie przechwała się, nie unosi się tylko. Nie postępuje nieprzyzwoicie, nie szuka swego, nie jest porywcza, nie myśli nic złego. Nie ratuje się z niesprawiedliwości, ale ratuje się z prawdy. Wszystko znosi, wszystkiemu wierzy, wszystkiego się spodziewa, wszystko przetrzyma. Miłość nigdy nie ustaje. The word of the Lord. Medicine is 
comes to our vein, the same sacrament, God, divine doctor, is putting the graces to us, to our soul, through sacraments. So each sacrament is like a divine IV. Sacrament of marriage is for you, divine IV, the way to holiness, the way in which for the rest of your life you will love each other, honor each other, sacrifice for each other, and strengthen each other. The Catechism of the Catholic Church states, This grace, proper to the sacrament of matrimony, is intended to perfect couples' love and to strengthen the unbreakable unity. By this grace, they help one another to attain holiness in their married life and welcoming and educating their children. Please notice, it says, the grace of the sacrament is to perfect your love and strengthen your unity. And you are about to help each other to become holy. Marriage is holy. Crystal, you are to help, you are about to help Sebastian become holy. And you, Sebastian, you are about to help Crystal become holy. What makes you perfect is your love for one another and your desire, your desire to sacrifice for each other. Love each other, respect each other, and listen how much God loves you. Christ loves us so much that He sacrificed Himself for all of us. And in the same way, you are willing to sacrifice for the rest of your life. Self-sacrifice in marriage is a key point. This idea of self-sacrifice St. Paul expressed very clearly in a letter to Ephesians. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And Jovia, go hide for your job, jak Jesus Christus ukochał Kości. Z taką miłością, Sebastian, z taką miłością, jak Chrystus kocha Kości, Ty masz kochać Chrystus. How did Christ love the church? Christ gave up his life for the church. So you are giving up your life to each other in mutual and lasting fidelity. Mutual and lasting fidelity. You will put the cord on your shoulders and you will put the wide veil on your shoulders. It symbolizes also that you are to carry each other for the rest of your life. It symbolizes your unity that you are making for the rest of your life. It symbolizes the bond which has to be unbroken for the rest of your life. It symbolizes the purity of your life. It has to go, it has to be for the rest of your life. When I, when I met you first time, I asked you, do you want to enter into a Christian marriage or that is a permanent, exclusive and open to children? And you said, yes, permanent, exclusive and open to children. And remember that love requires sacrifice. Wherever we are, whatever we do, love demands sacrifice. I love that what makes me that what makes me willing to give my life totally to you. And this thought and this prayer has to be in your mind, Sebastian. And this prayer and this thought has to be on your mind, Crystal. I love you. That's why I want to sacrifice my life. I'm sorry also. Say I'm sorry sometimes because we are not perfect. Only God is perfect and the Blessed Virgin Mary. Above all, above all, a 
as St. Paul is saying, put on love as the veil and the cord will be put on you. Above all, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Crystal and Sebastian, since today, there is not any more me. Since today, there is not any more mine. It's ours. Since today, there is not any more me, mine. You are one. You are one. The loves make you one. For the sake of becoming holy and bringing the gift of love and new life into the world. Bringing the gift of love and a new life into the world. Coming from the two different traditions, the Polish tradition and the Filipino tradition. The both tradition has a lot of things to offer. And you can use this as making a powerful, powerful and strong, strong richness in your marriage. But above all, above all, bring into your family the love for God, the love for God, and putting God first, as those two traditions are bringing, of Polish and a Filipino tradition for divine mercy. Bring the tradition of faith into your life, because God is with us, no one is against us. Love requires sacrifice. I love that what makes me willing to sacrifice my life for the rest of my life in mutual and lasting.
in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in His goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with His blessing. What God has joined, man must not divide.
we pray to the Lord. Hear our prayers for Christ and Sebastian. May they love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. I would like to invite Oscar and Marjorie to put the veil. Of Christ in the temple of 
Father glad with you, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and after willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
the involved by other prayers, dear brothers and sisters. God's blessing upon his bride, Crystal, and group Sebastian, that in his kindness, he may favor with his help those on whom he bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. I invite everyone to please pray for them. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image, and will that the union be crowned with your blessing, we humbly beseech you for these your servants who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessing grow, come down upon this bright crystal and upon Sebastian, her companion for life. And may the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from the high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may adore their family with the children and enrich the church. In happiness, may they praise you, O Lord. In sorrow, may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil, and know that you are here to comfort them in their need. Let them pray to you in the Holy Assembly, and bear witness to you in the world. And after a happy old age, together with the circle of friends that surround them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
last year, and that the effect of the sacrifice we have offered may be felt by your body, may be felt by us all, through Christ our Lord. A new 